Hi guys, it's Harvey from All Parts. Hey listen, this is a personal story, okay, you may want to listen to all you HVAC geeks. I got a laugh out of this, it really is. This guy bought this house and the heat pump's probably three years old. Uh, the tech told him since he bought the house, it's the warranty's not applied. Which, I don't, I do pool heater heat pumps, I, you know, which, which is true. So, I don't know if it's true, I don't know. But he had had a Schrader valve without the cap on. Now, it was frosting up. The tech came out and said, oh, your Schrader valve doesn't have a cap on it. And he put leak detector on it. And naturally, most Schrader valves do leak, some, okay? If you look at most Schrader valves, they do leak a little bit. That's why you have this cap, okay? It, you can't see it, but it has a little o rubber O-ring you probably can't see. That pretty much seals 99.99% .99 of the gas from leaking out, all right? This guy told my buddy, <laughs> OBX, I call it, since the Schrader valve was leaking, he has to evacuate the system, he has to purge it with nitrogen, he has to um, vacuum it down. He's got to hold the charge. You know, vacuum, you know, okay, which my buddy said when he closed it down, the needle was creeping up. So, and then he gave it another nitrogen purge. We're talking R410. Tried to hold that, and my buddy said the gauge was still going down. And then he vacuumed it, okay, and then he filled it back up. And it was nice that he did um, a super heat, and he filled it up and did a super heat test on it. It was like $600. I, <clears throat> I laughed when he says, $600 because the Schrader valve was leaking, and there was no cap. Well, I had plenty of caps. So anyway, charged him almost six hundred dollars. Was out there four hours. I just want to show you. I have it. I guess most technicians don't have it. Here's a Schrader valve release tool. Okay. Here's the inside of a Schrader valve. I don't know. If you can see it. it's like a bicycle tire. And what you do if you have a leaking one and you can't stop it from leaking. This is soldered into your HVAC unit, heat pump, whatever. You go ahead, sorry my hands are shaking so bad. You screw it on, okay? This is without very minimal um, evacuating any system. You plunge in the plunger. You unscrew the Schrader valve, pull it out. I don't know if I, hopefully I, yeah, okay. Pull it out. You turn this off. It stops any gas from leaking out. You take this end off. There's your Schrader valve. No leak escaped. If you do want to, you know, check for gauges or anything, there's a T-port, okay? You can do whatever you want. Put your new Schrader valve in, okay? Put it in. Open this up. Go ahead, push, plunge this in. Screw it in. Nice and tight. It's spun because it's not soldered. Okay, I just replaced the Schrader valve without evacuating the system. <laughs> nice handy little tool, okay? Open it up, you can close it. Open this up, doesn't re release as minimum gas, okay? It's a Schrader valve replacement tool, so you don't have to decharge the unit. I have one. And I only work on heat pumps, pool heater heat pumps. I used to be a HVAC tech, guys. But anyway, there was a $600 bill. 
So I went out there with my um my fluorescent um spray and I found the leak. The guy called up and he says, I found the leak. The guy says, Oh, just must have happened. I'm gonna have to charge you another six hundred, seven hundred dollars and if I have to solder it up. <laughs> so he spent twelve hundred dollars today because the Schrader valve, well, he spent $600 basically because the Schrader valve was leaking and the guy, the tech, didn't find the leak. The guy saw the gauges going down. I don't know why he didn't say anything. But anyway, guys, there is a Schrader valve replacement tool out there. If you do HVAC work, I'm sure you're very familiar with it. I'm just doing this for consumers. There is a Schrader valve replacement tool that you don't have to evacuate the whole system. Alright guys, I call this OBX of the day. Alright, um, take care. I'm just smiling and laughing. Alright guys, take it easy. Bye.